Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. Today I'm making air fryer catfish nuggets with sous vide thick cut fries and I'm using my Philips air fryer double XL. I'm also using my Juul sous vide circulator. This video is in collaboration with my boy AB from Smoking and Grilling with AB. He makes amazing meals. I highly suggest you check out his channel. I'll put a link up above and in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. So I was trying to be fancy and I decided I wanted to make an aioli for the fish. I've never done this before, so I was totally winging it. I've got some mayonnaise in there, some stone ground mustard, some Dijon mustard, some chunky garlic, and also some Worcestershire sauce and some hot sauce, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, and then some salt and pepper. So I whisked all of that together and then I gave it a taste and the flavor wasn't quite there so I added in some more um, I added in some more hot sauce I added in some more garlic because hey you can never have enough garlic um, some more lemon juice and then um, I added in a little bit more of the um, ground must stone ground mustard and then it was perfect so here are the seasonings that I'll be using for the fish and the fries. So to, for the fries, I just took about five potatoes and I peeled and rinsed them off. And then I just cut them up. I cut them in half and then I cut them into uh, thick fries. And then I put them in a bowl with some cold water to uh, rinse off some of the starch. And then I drained them and dried them. And then I seasoned them up. So I poured on a little bit of olive oil and tossed them together with that. And then I added some, some more of that chunky garlic. And then I uh, seasoned it with some ranch seasoning and then some garlic salt. And next I added some paprika, uh, a little bit of parsley, and then finally some slap your mama seasoning. And so I just kept tossing until the potatoes were thoroughly coated. And then I placed them in some freezer Ziploc bags. I like to use the freezer ones when I'm doing sous vide because they are thicker than just the standard Ziploc. So I placed the bags in the water while it was still open because actually the water forces the air out of the bag for you. So once all of the air was out, I went ahead and closed the bags. And for whatever reason, vegetables seem to float in the water. I guess they're not heavy enough. So I put a ceramic dish on top so the potatoes would be fully submerged. And so the Juul uh, works through your phone. So I set the timer in the phone and the potatoes are gonna cook for 45 minutes at 194 degrees. So here is what the potatoes look like when they were done. They're cooked thoroughly, but they just don't have any color yet. So I put them in my air fryer and here's what they look like after about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So crispy on the out outside and then fluffy and tender on the inside, delicious. All right, so let's cook this fish. So I've got my Louisiana fish fry and then I'm adding in some cornmeal. This just adds a little bit of extra crunch. And then I'm adding in some more of that Slap Your Mama seasoning. So I mixed that up really well and then it was time to season the fish. So Slap Your Mama is making an appearance yet again. So I seasoned the um, catfish nuggets thoroughly with the Slap Your Mama. And then I added some yellow mustard and then I added some hot sauce. And I tossed that together really well. And then it was time to uh, get them coated with the uh, cornmeal. So I placed the fish in my batter pro. I'll have a link to purchase in the description box. I love this thing. I added the um, cornmeal and I gave it a good shake. And then there was my fish, perfectly coated and ready to hit the air fryer. So I sprayed the bottom of my air fryer with some olive oil so the fish wouldn't stick. And I decided to use my rack so I can go ahead and cook two layers of fish at one time. So I put in the fish and then I sprayed that with olive oil and then I set it for 400 degrees um, for nine minutes. And then after the nine minutes, I checked it to see if it would be ready to flip. And then after about 15 minutes total time, it was time to eat. So here is the fish um, served up with that aioli and some uh, lemon wedges and some parsley. Oh my gosh, not only was the fish looking delicious but it tasted amazing so good so you guys 
I do recommend that you guys give this a try. It's a way to get your fried foods in without all the uh, added guilt of all that oil. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to go check out my boy AB. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye.